Hello, Gemini. Welcome to another WLC reading. Weekly Love Connections. This would be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connection. Uh, pardon my voice today, guys. And um, my throat is acting up. Okay. Um, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Information with regards to my private re personal readings tarot decks that I'm using as well as if ever I would extend this video the links and all the other information um, will be in the description box below also in response to uh, most of your comments in the last two weeks um, now I have um, opened up an option in Vimeo where you are able to watch all my extended videos pertaining to your signs so I have preloaded I uh, created an individual series for all your signs so you could have Nomad Soul Warrior reads and um, Gemini. Okay, and um, in that series, you will see all my extended videos in the past, I think, a month, as well as all the upcoming um, videos that I would be creating, even bonus videos as well. Um, and um, you have unlimited um, streaming capacity for that once you subscribe also. Don't worry if you're just uh, wanting to get or view um, extended reads for each of the readings I'm doing here. There is that direct link as well in the description box that would point into um, the extended video for this particular um, reading. And further down to that, that's when you will see all the links to the individual signs series videos okay so go ahead and check out that little trusty box in uh, into the description box and you'll see all of the um, relevant information down there okay let's get to your reading Gemini let's see first this is for Gemini let's get to your reading Gemini what do we have for you in love for this week or after you watch this um, video this is for Gemini Sun Moon Rising and Venus in love Gemini you've got seven of wands faith or the Hierophant the devil um, okay the fool temperance Page of coins, three of coins, three of cups, queen of cups, ace of swords, death, empress, queen of swords, five of coins, and the four of cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the six of cups. And Gemini, missing someone, huh? Are you missing somebody from the past? Um thinking about the good times you've shared together with this um, particular individual. In Gemini, I'm, I'm seeing here that um, you're, you're pretty stand standoffish this week, I think, particularly towards this person. I feel that you're not wanting to be vulnerable, um, perhaps because there could have been some lessons that you've learned about about this connection. There could have been um, things that has happened that um, allowed you to gain more knowledge about how to handle things with this person. And um, you're standing your ground. Pretty defensive. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, you do have faith that... Um, uh, hopefully, with all the learnings, if this is a person that you've been dealing with for a couple of times now, let's say, you know, this could be a person that you have dealt with in the past, like in and out kind of a connection. Um, in every cycle that you've in, this could be some sort of a karmic connection you have. In every every time you connect. There is that additional experience, additional learning that you've um, garnered with that um, engagement with this person, yeah? And this time around, I feel that um, you are being defensive. 
and um, you are also gaining more spiritual knowledge here as you deal with this person this time around. Mm -hmm. um, you being defensive, that would lead this person to think that maybe you are no longer interested. Yeah? But the challenge here is that that's not true. You're pretty much still thinking about this person. Um, I can feel that there is this sense of a little bit of obsessiveness here. You may not be communicating as much, but I feel that you may be thinking a lot about this person. You might be missing them too. Okay? <clears throat> the person that you're dealing with, um, they're taking a leap of faith here. The thing is, it's not pretty clear right now whether are they taking a leap of faith towards you or towards another connection. But they're wanting to take this risk to have a new beginning regardless of the consequences. So what they're thinking about right now is just to make this change to have a new beginning. Whatever happens a week from now, it's not within their peripheral vision just yet. <laughs> okay, so it's just a matter of they want to take a risk to take a new beginning, to, to take this step, to jump off the cliff and um, start this new show, new, new um, journey. And um, they can do that because I, I feel that this person has been patient. Um, if things did not go well in the past between the two of you, I do see that um, this person right now is trying to gain back balance, um, trying to uh, be more patient with um, what's happening between the two of you. I don't see this person being aggressive or um, even being rude. No, it's just a matter of them just being patient, and I think they've paid some time to be patient to uh, bring back harmony in their life, to possibly even let go of things that doesn't um, serve them well. They are tempering their emotions, and therefore now they are in that um, stage of being able to start something new, wanting to start something new. Um, Gemini, this person sees you as someone who is possibly working things out with somebody else. You might be engaging in some new endeavors, new projects, um, possibly even dating, like working things out, starting in you with um, some other acquaintances. So definitely, they are not seeing that you are thinking much about them, that you are still fixated on them. Yeah, Guys, the energies here can be vice versa because this is a general read, so take it however that resonates on your side. And um, the person that you're dealing with here is also contemplating about how they feel about you, although they want to be able to have the chance to get together. They want to be able that to be able to have that chance to hang out, perhaps with you. It cannot be denied this person has feelings for you. It's just that they are rather more on a receptive side right now. Yeah, They are rather more on a receptive side. <clears throat> May not be very expressive, but they do care for you. Hence, this willingness to even get together to check on you, what's going on with you, what makes you happy, what makes you sad this time around. Yeah, they have that longing. Mm-hmm. And actually, I can see that things may have ended between the two of you. There could have been some ending, yeah? And um, this person now is hopeful that um, after that ending, you know, things can be brought back to life again. Things can be transformed, and in that transformation, they can bring back um, honesty, truth, and um, clarity, yeah, in order to have a new beginning. 
of this connection. So likely so, they are wanting to take a leap of faith towards you. Mm. But I'm feeling that this person would likely still be on a tiptoe right now, given the fact that things may have ended and that um, in every ending that needs to be transformation, yeah? So before they can even reach out to you, before they can even invite you to get together, hang out or coffee or, or things like that, they need to at least um, pave the way towards that. And um, paving the way towards it would mean they need to bring out the truth, the truth that may have been the cause of that ending. So there could be a decision has been made here by this person, I feel. Or this could be them hoping that a decision could be made to transform this connection after an ending. Yeah, definitely. You could be dealing um, Gemini with an air sign here, or this is just your your energies. I'm also seeing here Libra, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, but mainly, um, this person is wanting growth and expansion with you. They see they're pretty much attracted to you. Yeah, and they see you as someone that they can grow a life with can be with them in to be abundant with you know abundant meaning you can stay together build a family where you have a comfortable living conditions comfortable way of life and um, at the same time you can still have that space for growth and expansion in a family or even in in a relationship okay and this person is wanting to bring in the truth. So here they are actually, they have made the decision, you know, to hopefully transform this um, ending into another beginning. And that this time around, this person is willing to bring in the truth, speak the truth towards you. No more BS, no more lies, no more deceits. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so... <clears throat> There is that longing there, there is that attraction, there is that wanting to grow, and um, there is that wanting to jump to a uh, new start here. This week, I am seeing that um, pretty much you would still be both on your own corners. You may not be communicating as much with um, each other. You may still feel as though um, somebody is not interested with somebody here feeling left out in the cold um you don't get that attention that you you get from this person or vice versa and somebody here is actually feeling that they miss an opportunity so it could easily be you or them feeling that all right but i see now that um in this connection somebody is missing somebody and that um somebody in this connection is beginning to uh realize the uh, worth of this connection it does in their life so you or this person is beginning to see that actually this connection you have with each other is um it's important it's significant in your life yeah and that you want to nurture it or they want to nurture it yeah these are the underlying energies here there's love here somebody is has so much love for someone, but um, it's not being expressed, all right? And therefore, there is that element here of someone feeling that um, they are missing an opportunity for not being able with, to be with you or you with them. Yeah? So um, I'm going to be extending this reading to um, get more clarifiers for, for these energies. If you're interested to follow me in the extended, the link for this video will be directly right in on top of the, um, within the description box below. If you're interested to see, um, just to have unlimited um, viewings or streaming for all the um, Gemini extended 
uh, readings that um, I have posted, as well as the upcoming readings, you can subscribe to the entire series. The series links would also be underneath. It's within the uh, description box below. All right. In the meantime, um, let's get you messages from the person that you're dealing with. I'm really bad at commitment. I'm still trying to find myself. I'm trying to take responsibility for my actions right now. Please know this. All right, so I, I feel that um, them wanting to take this leap of faith towards you um, and them realizing that they are really bad at commitment, it um, actually... I'm feeling that um, this is them now trying to be more accountable of their actions and them taking that leap of faith towards you is actually the beginning of um, transforming this um, connection from an ending into a, a new beginning, yeah, based on truth with clarity, yeah, and openness right here. But let's see how this um, energies would transpire. Because I'm seeing here that for this week you would still be on your corner. So let's see. Let's let's get more clarifiers in the extended. All right. Um, let me know, guys, how this resonated with you in the comment section below, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe as well as click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified as and when I had, um, post new videos. And if this is where we part ways, thank you guys for stopping by.